Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I wanted to ask who here loves to dance? Okay, I see everyone's hands up. That's good. <laughs> so who in their life has experienced when they're dancing, getting to this place where you feel like you're merging with something higher? Maybe some of us, maybe not all of us, okay? So when you get to that place, some of us will say we are merging with spirit. We are merging with the realm that spirit inhabits. So today, my lecture, the intention for my lecture is to help us see dance as a tool. So for some of us during these turbulent times, we might need some tools to work on getting ourselves out of the lower realms and into the upper realms. So I know for myself, when I start to dance, somehow I get out of my anxiety, I get out of my depression, I get out of certain parts of myself that I don't want to be living in, and it just kind of happens organically and naturally. Um, so when I was a child, I remember experiencing this, and then as an adult, I started practicing improvisational dance. I remember my senior solo in high school. I decided, I'm not gonna choreograph it, I'm not gonna let anyone choreograph it, I'm just gonna do an improv on stage, which my teacher obviously trusted me enough um, and said, sure, go for it. So on stage, I improv to some jazz music, and, um, and I remember experiencing this feeling of merging with something higher than myself. Um, over the years, being a part of the foundation, I was given the opportunity to do something called the Dance of Flow. So what Spirit inspired me to do is to bring my gift of dance to the stage, to this audience, and also, in the process, I had opportunity to come to a place of higher self-realization I realized parts of myself where my ego was holding on to wanting to be loved, wanting to be liked, and so my dance that would come through was based on that, not based on actually connecting with my higher self. Um, the other insights that have come to me, I remembered myself in past lives, in lives that were much more harmonious than this, this lifetime. And after tapping into that on stage at the Women's Center, I go back to that lifetime. And that helps me to feel calm and at peace because in that life I lived in harmony with nature. Everybody around me was living in harmony. So there was not this disconnect walking around the world, which I know a lot of us experience this lifetime, in this area, I should say. I'm sure there's parts that are still very harmonious on our planet. Um, <laughs> but our job here, obviously, is to step out of that and to move out of that. So today, what I'd like to do is invite us, any of us who feel inspired, to stand up and I'm gonna demonstrate getting into the flow with some music, but I'd like everyone who feels inspired to also stand up, find some space, and we're gonna practice. We're gonna do just a little bit to center ourselves, kind of like a meditation. I know for everybody it might be different. Um, and at the end of this, <laughs> I hope you will have a new tool. So you can close your eyes, take a few deep breaths if you'd like. This is one of my favorite songs, so this helps me. But um, usually I'll start to feel kind of like a, you can even just start swaying.
So who felt connected? You can be honest, mm -hmm. yeah. Good, who felt like they weren't quite there yet? <laughs> Sometimes it can take an hour or so. In dance class, we warm up and we warm up and we warm up, and sometimes it's not till the last combination that you feel, wow, I'm in this other world. <laughs> so, you know, we did about three and a half minutes there. So if you want to explore for a little bit longer at home, that would be wonderful. <laughs> also, I find that being in a group, so COVID taught me a lot about when you're in a group, it amplifies. If it's positive, so if you're in a group and you're dancing together and everyone's getting into that space, it becomes amplified. I notice that I feel way better when I go into a dance classroom with a group of dancers. And not to say that structured dance can sometimes actually take you out of the flow at first when you're learning the positions, but then once your body has learned and strengthened in certain ways, what I've discovered is that I can get into a deeper flow because I have certain energy pathways is what it feels like open. You'll notice a lot of traditional dance. So I went to Bali in college and learned traditional Balinese dance. And you'll watch in traditional Indian, Balinese, ballet, they all turn their feet out really wide. And I'm wondering, I mean, I'm curious, if that's opening certain channels or pathways that they've discovered. Because in all these cultures, they talk about bringing the spirit in. That was part of the dance, was bringing the spirit in to clear the dark energies, at least in Bali, that's what it was. In India, I think it's to go to a state of enlightenment. Um, and in the Bible, they talk about allowing the Holy Spirit to move through us, and I know in class, the Holy Spirit can be a healing agent. So when you let it in, we did the tarrying, where we did give gratitude and go deep, deep, deep into that space of gratitude and higher consciousness. And then experiencing the Holy Spirit, you can, it may move you, it may dance you to clear, clear out energies. I've had my whole spine actually um, like getting a chiropractic adjustment when I'm dancing. I'm going, wow, I don't have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> so in conclusion, I hope that everybody got something out of this. Absolutely. I hope that you can use this tool and that it can help you to navigate these challenging times if you're so inspired. Mm -hmm.